Last week, the S&P 500 ended pretty close to its all-time high powered by small cap companies but was dragged down by Nvidia. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,648.40, up 0.2% from last week and adding 94 billion of market cap. The P.E. ratio, based on current price and latest earnings, stands at 29.51, up 0.07 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Berkshire Hathaway is up 47.9 billion or 4.9% as the company hit $1 trillion of market cap for the first time. Apple is up 32.8 billion or 1% on no specific news. Note that the company is expected to release its first AI-enabled iPhone on September 9th. JP Morgan is up 18.4 billion or 3% on no specific news. Visa up 17.4 billion or 3.3% on no specific news. The company is reportedly in talks to acquire fraud prevention firm FutureSpace. Mastercard is up 15.6 billion or 3.6% on no specific news as well. Moving to your losers. Nvidia is down 254.4 billion or 8% as the company beat earnings and guidance expectations but failed to sway investors. Alphabet is down 28.6 billion or 1.4% on no specific news. Note that the company is bringing back image generation of people in its Gemini model and investing further in its Waymo service. Tesla is down 19.8 billion or 2.8% on no specific news. Meta down 16.9 billion or 1.3% on reporting that the company caved to pressure from the White House to moderate content on its platform. Broadcom is down 16.5 billion or 2.1% on no specific news. We'll cover the company in the following segment. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Q2 2024 earnings season is almost done for the S&P 500 constituent, with 11 members releasing results last week and 25 companies left to report earnings, 6 S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending September 6th, 2024. And the most interesting will be Broadcom on September 5th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Google and Nvidia jumped last week, you should watch this video next.